Brothers. Hey guys, uh, playing a little bit of Panic Restaurant here. I'm trying to see if I can get. I don't think I can. Oh my goodness, I can. I just got that. I just got that. That was good. That was good shit. Um, I'm on these burners here. Again, another well designed challenge there. Uh, why there would be conveyor belts, not strictly logical. I mean, I guess if, uh, if, if this was like um, a hotel toaster, uh, that would make some sense. But uh, whatever. Game logic, right? There has to be conveyor belts. That's just a, a rule of game logic. There must be conveyor belts. Uh, I'm getting through here pretty well. Oh, shit. I forgot there's a lid that comes down. I have played this already uh, earlier before. It's how I determined this game would be awesome. But um, I have not played it with you guys watching me. So uh, I do want to say that, that uh, welcome. If you are watching this, I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, Panic Restaurant, really need a game. Concept is based around you're in a restaurant. You haven't seen it level. I like the toaster thing. Um, oh, God. What a brave little toaster that was. I don't know if that even counts as a joke. It's just a reference to something that many people are aware of. There we go. Another bonus game here. I think this is going to be Catch the Egg, if I'm correct. Take the Egg. Nope, I was wrong. It's not Catch the Egg, it's Take the Egg. Totally wrong, totally different, completely different thing. What are you even thinking about, you piece of garbage? Bomb. Don't take the bomb. Egg. It kind of bothers me that the egg doesn't have a little animation here or look like it lands in the pan and all. It just kind of vanishes. Uh, that's the kind of thing that, I mean, I, I would do more than this if I were making this game, and, and, um, I wouldn't make this game because I suck at making games, but, um, it just seems like that's a little bit lacking. A little bit of a crack would be great. Even just a little animation of it disappearing or something. It, it, it's just, the layer where it just kind of, it really goes behind the pan as well. It doesn't land on the pan, but whatever. It's a fun little mini game. You get some points there. It is fun. I'm, I'm, I always seem to find the mini level, so I don't quite know structurally how you get from point A to point B. And somebody's, oh, Jesus, there was an enemy right there, and I didn't even see him. Wouldn't it be great if you could let's play and scream along, like, uh, with, with just going, There's an enemy! There's an enemy! There's an enemy! And just like a pantomime, the guy would be like, An enemy? Where is he? Is he behind me? I don't see him. Is he in front of me? I don't, I don't see... Oh, my goodness. But it's fucking pointless. There we go. I don't want to go jump down here. Am I going to get hit? No, I did not. I'm breezing through this. Some would say this game's a bit too easy, but I have gone through a fair amount of it uh, already, and so I, I have some idea of how to play. And it gets harder as you go along. I think we're on the third level. And you get some continues. But I also think it's kind of got a fair level of difficulty. Like, I don't mean it's fairly difficult. I mean, you play it, and... And yeah, you can die, and you got to learn the pattern for each enemy, and you've got to and see your power ups disappear once you get them. So there's some punishment for death. Um, it's not as hard as a lot of old Nintendo games, but some of them, frankly, are just too hard. You also lose all your coins, which makes hoarding coins kind of dumb. At the same time, it's like, well, I didn't need anything else. I think I mean I could have gotten a few extra lives, but but shit, I just didn't need anything else. So. What am I going to do? Waste a bunch of coins? That's what I ended up doing. Wasting the coins. Hey! Hey, my eyes! I think their eyes are bugging out because they just seen something amazing. Like They're just like, Oh my god, we're alive! Life is amazing! What's going on? What's death? Oh boy, I don't think this can do anything. The, the big lollipops give you an extra heart, but I've got all the hearts. Okay, this guy I remember being impossible. Um, and then I finally figured it out. He's not. <laughs> I think I also originally did this and I had somehow gotten here with one hit point and he just seemed impossible because of that. Which is always a bit unfair when you blame the game's difficulty on the fact that you entered it with one hit point. Same thing with uh, Mario games, actually. Because a lot of times you choose your difficulty in a Mario game, at least in the later ones, and you might decide that you want to go into a level that you're not really ready for and so you should really be like... Holy shit, this guy's got a lot of shrimp. Oh, I got killed by a scampy. That little stat scamp. Oh my goodness, my legs feel like somebody just... Like an elephant was... Ah, 
Okay. I don't like... I don't like how close the... The shrimp boat... Like, I guess if I was smarter, I would just stay away during the stage and hit him with the other... St oh, there you go. I beat him. That was sudden and anti anticlimactic. Anticlimactic? Anticlimaxic. I'm anticlimax. Uh, hello, I'm your anticlimax. I'm here to give all the children of the world climaxes. Okay, let's see if I can get at least a bit of health back. That would be nice. What? Doesn't count as anything? There we go. I'm on the fish. I also have the feeling this game was finished in a bit of a rush. Once you get towards the end game, you realize that there's a few things that weren't really thought out as much as you'd think they would be. I do not like those kebabs. They are bad.